at Arabella's Reading Corner. I'm Arabella, and today we will be reading When Grandma Gives You a Lemon Tree. You were hoping for one of these. Birthday wish list, robot dog, drone, computer, phone, remote control car, headphones. But surprise, it's a lemon tree. What should you do when Grandma gives you a lemon tree for your birthday? First of all, act excited. Your face should look like this. Not this. And definitely not this. Next, say something polite. Try thank you. Just what I needed? Keep smiling until Grandma leaves or falls asleep. And do not harm your lemon tree. So your face should look like this. Not this, and definitely not this. Don't drop it off a bridge, tie it to your birthday balloons. Play ding dong ditch the lemon tree. Dear neighbor, happy lemon, lemon tree day. Now listen closely. This is important. Place your lemon tree in a sunny spot. Be careful not to overwater. And prepare for battle against intruders. When winter arrives, keep your lemon tree warm. Then wait. And wait and wait some more. Once the snow melts, it's time to bring your lemon tree back outside. Well done. Sure, you can decorate your lemon tree or hide behind it. Come out, come out wherever you are. But do you know it's even more fun? Slice them, squeeze them. Come on, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze a root. Ta-da, now you have lemon juice. You didn't think I'd just leave you with lemon juice, did you? Of course not. Remember those gifts you were hoping for? It's good you're staying focused. Oh, she's adding a number seven to her list. I wonder what it is. Gather these items. Lemon juice, water, a pinch or handful of sugar. Flashy lemonade stand. Cue a dazzling smile and... Ka-ching! Count your cash and head to the store. Now you can finally buy exactly what you want. Something you can really enjoy. She didn't buy like the robot dog or anything. She bought flowers and plants and share with others too. I hope you enjoyed this book.